Today, I wanted to talk about raising calves, raising oxes, and rideable oxes. You see everyone riding around on oxes for transports, for moving goods. Almost everyone has some oxes on their islands so they can pick up and harvest things. Are oxes profitable? Should you raise oxes? Let's find out. Here's some data. All right, so it takes 125 focus to nurture an ox per day and it takes one extra day per tier of ox, so tier 3 ox is one day, tier 4 ox is two days, and tier 5 ox is three days. Now, I'm only showing the numbers for the first three tiers of oxes, because after that, it just gets wild. The uh, And I don't mean wild in a good way, I mean like the economy just basically dumps itself. And already, ox breeding, ox raising, ox farming, whatever you want to call it, it is completely oversaturated and has been since the beginning of the game's launch. It is just way, way, way too oversaturated for anyone to get into the market. I do not recommend oxes at all. So, let's look at the numbers here. Uh, you can see that uh, it is absolutely almost not worth it at all to raise oxes without spending focus to nurture them. And even when you do, you lose out if you are buying from the vendor. What does that mean, buying from the vendor? Okay, on, on an island, you have an island vendor here. And you go to the animal tab and you scroll down and you have the calves. The reason you lose money if you buy from this vendor is because the actual prices of these animals are so much lower on the market because of oversaturation. So for instance, you buy an ox calf, uh, you can pay like 4,000 less for that. You pay a, you know, a tier 4 ox calf, well guess what, You're, you can pay almost 40,000 less silver on the market. And then again, 225,000 silver for the tier 5, we can go buy a tier 5 for 80,000, which is like three times cheaper than the vendor. So when you trade from the vendor, you are just losing money. So never, ever, ever currently in the market in the game, this could, this could change at some point, never, ever, ever buy your babies from the island vendor for oxes. Always buy them from the market. Okay, so I did the calculations from if you buy it from the vendor, you can see how much silver you would lose every single time. It's way too much. You should never do it. But I did the calculations towards the bottom of how much you would earn if you raise oxes. And it's an okay amount until you do the a little bit deeper math there. And um, I actually did the averages wrong there at the bottom. So um, let me just uh, remove that real quick. And uh, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just do that. There we go. Um, because I <laughs> clearly fudged the numbers there, or maybe I fudged the numbers on the other one. But the point is, is that, um, I think, I think I swapped the numbers wrong. It's supposed to be 4,000 on the bottom and, uh, wh whatever, right? Okay. So y you can see that per, per day, okay, because it takes multiple days to raise the oxes up, that you're not getting very much, okay? If you've watched my previous videos, you know that if you just go water plants or herbs, you can make five, you make on average 5,000 per square, right? Whereas if you did a tier 3 ox, you're only making 2,932. That's just raising the ox to adulthood, not saddling it, okay? Now, I, I did the math on saddling. I'm not going to show it, but I did show it on the horse video. So if you're into horse breeding, you can go check that out. It's about 1,700 additional. So for the tier 3 ox... You would add 1,700 to that, which would put it at 4,000 something, so slightly below herb farming and below crop farming, meaning it's really not worth your time, investment, or energy to do. But another reason why it's not worth doing is look at the incredibly low sales volume, okay? Because I did check transport ox sales volumes, that's after you saddle your ox, okay? Most towns are only selling 700 to 1,000 tier 3 oxes per day, and it, it, it completely drops off after that. Like, tier 4 oxes, tier 5 transport oxes, only like two to 300 a day. And then if you get to tier 6, 7, and 8, it's even less. It's so small that you're never going to make your investment back because the market is completely oversaturated. It's just, there's just too many oxes and not enough people buying them. They're Either they're not trashing enough when they get killed in the black zones, or people just aren't bringing oxes to the black zones. So something's got to change. Something needs to be rebalanced for this to uh, stabilize in the market. Because there's the reason why the babies are like so cheap is because no one's buying them. And there's an overabundance of breeders, okay? 
There's just too many. There's like not an ox pound. You can't go adopt an ox or anything, right? There's no there's no ox orphanage in the game. So um you should really really avoid breeding oxes. You you won't make much money doing this. Yes, you will make money if you do it properly. Now, if you want more information on saddling costs, saddling nutrition costs, how much it costs to build a saddler, why you should never use focus when saddling, and why you should never use a saddler in a main city unless it's in Fort Sterling currently. That's the only cheap one. The rest of the world, they're overpriced. Then check out my horse breeding video. Horses are pretty much the same as oxes in terms of uh, f uh, focus cost and um, baby percentages, uh, baby return rates, and they're very similar, sort of, uh, in, in terms of sales volume and also return rates for breeding. Though in the horse video, I did not calculate vendor values because, again, the market is volatile. Uh, the ox market is way, way, way more volatile than the horse market, but not by much. So I went ahead and showed you if you bought from the market as of September 4th, 2022. Um, but that could change anywhere from a month from now, a year from now. It just takes a few people with a credit card or billions of silver to decide that they want to get into ox breeding and they buy out all the oxes on the market, and then it shoots up the values like crazy. However, I highly doubt that will happen because there are so many already created transport oxes on the market and in storage that the markets, like, you would have to bleed through all of those already made before the price of the calves and the grown adult oxes would even come to match that. So, should you breed oxes only if you find it really fun you're going to lose money compared to growing crops or herbs, or even horses, really. Um, and the low sales volume means you're not going to really sell much of your product for a very long time. So I would avoid breeding oxes entirely, okay? And again, sorry if I'm not including the saddle data. data. It's the same for the horses. Just go watch the horse video. It's on my channel. It should be like yesterday's video. If you're watching this much further into the future, then just click my channel, type horse breeding in the search bar, and there it is, okay? And if that doesn't work, then something happened, and um, who knows? I'm sorry, man. Uh, le leave a comment if you really can't find it. I could probably find it for you, but don't be lazy. Okay, anyway, I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. I read every single comment. And also, I make a video every single day. I'm trying to make two videos a day. I'm trying to work extra hard here so I can um, not starve. But, um, <laughs> so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those videos. All right. And also, if you want to leave me a monetary donation, click the thanks button down below. And your donation will be shown in the comment section. If you want to become a channel member, click the join button. That's like YouTube's way of being a, like, like you know how on, on Twitch, when you sub to someone, you pay them five bucks and you're a Twitch subscriber, right? Well, YouTube, it's YouTube channel memberships. And you get the same thing. You get custom emojis, but you get access to private, more personal videos. There is a members-only video playlist in the pinned comment. You can preview the video list. And if one of those interests you, like, there are certain builds that I think are too good to show to the public. There's a video on how to be a YouTuber. There's a video to how to make 500,000 silver with uh, just on a character that did the tutorial. Like, you just let it set for three days, and then you can generate 500,000 silver with that character. And you can rinse and repeat it as much, many times as you want. So, you spend 45 minutes running characters through the tutorial, get their three days of premium, let them set for three days, that's 1.5 million for like 45 minutes of work. It's really good. Uh, so check out those videos if you want. You gotta be a member though, five bucks a month. Thank you so much for the support. I will see you in tomorrow's video, lads. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss them. Take care.